Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video I just wanted to do some commentary on the recent power leveling guide that I put out a few days ago. Uh, in case you're wondering, this video is me getting power leveled from 1 to 34, and I wanted to share with you the results of the power leveling method I shared, and what it does when used in its fullest. So I want you to take note of the start time, the local time in the top right. As you can see, it says 10.14 a.m., I believe, before the speed up, it started at 10.12. So that is when I started, and I officially started as a level four archer, moving through uh, moving through the East Shroud, doing the power leveling method, where I just claim enemies endlessly. And I have two people helping me in this case, but an astrologian with arrow cross-classed uh, was actually more than sufficient after I hit around level 11 or 12, as that was the only person who was helping me power level from that point on. So, uh, we're all about, only about three minutes in and we ended up finding a, a hunt, which I'm going to skip ahead of real quick. Now, uh, this is actually one of my favorite spots right here for the power leveling method, which if you haven't seen the video on, I made sure to include an annotation either in the top left or top right hand uh, corner of the video, where it's basically just me tagging enemies and someone from outside my party making sure that I survive everything. Then it's me switching to melt. Let's, uh, let's, let's cut away from that real quick. So uh, this is what it looks like in real time. Uh, this is just me kind of in that same area doing this on my live stream. At this point, I am level, what is that, 15 or 16? I can barely see it in the bottom section. But to give you an idea of the speed of this leveling method, I want you to either just look at the EXP numbers flashing through the middle of the screen every time a kill is landed, or just look at my EXP bar at the bottom. I mean, we're literally talking with EXP bonuses galore, friendship circlet. Uh, I'm not actually eating food right now, shame on me. I have free company, heat of battle buff. I have no more rested EXP. I have armory bonus. I have the brand new ring from the Hall of I mean, you're just seeing, I'm getting 600 plus EXP a kill here, and I only need about 35,000 to gain a level. So, I mean, I did this for a pretty long time, and I did this, I actually stayed in the East Shroud until approximately level 20. In fact, right at level 20. And then we decided to go to Camp Tranquil. We wanted to see how much farther we could push this to its limit. So we actually found this nice little spot. There's a fate that spawns here sometimes, which can get in the way of the power leveling. But basically, uh, the person who's power leveling me, Rebecca Chambers, uh, also we had Paladin, Venati, earlier helping me out. Uh, they basically just throw a region on me, and I just claim everything in the immediate area. Now, after I claim everything up, they're going to hold the size, and you're just going to see the EXP just pour down. Make sure to keep your eyes on my EXP bar on the bottom, and this is the kind of speed that we're talking about here. And these enemies respawn approximately every 90 seconds to 2 minutes, so you can just kill stray enemies in the area around while you're waiting for these guys to respawn. But you're going to see here in a second. Just, just keep your eye on it. And also, look at the local time right now. It is 12.05, uh, so it's just after noon. So it's been about an hour and 40 minutes. I am level 25 at this point in the in the footage. So look at that. See the holy in the size? Look at the EXP just roll in. And keep in mind, at this point, I have no more rested EXP because I burned it all in the first like in the first few levels. By the time I was like level 9, I didn't have any more rested EXP. So after I do that, we do that until I'm about level 27, 28. To be honest, as soon as you hit level 26, that method is less efficient than spamming leaves. That being said, it was still incredibly efficient, so we decided to keep doing it so I could save some leave allowances. After hitting around that level, we decided to do Adamantois Tears and Black Market Down. And these were the two leaves that we decided to power level me from 27, 28 all the way up to level 34. Where basically me and a fellow party member just split up and basically collect all these eggs in about, what is it going to be, like 20 seconds? Let's see, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21... 22, basically 22, 23 seconds to complete that leave. That's going to net me about 14 to 15,000 EXP, and that works pretty much all the way up from 27 to 34, although it doesn't, it's not, it's only about 8K, 8 to 9K EXP, maybe actually closer to probably 11K by the time you're level like 27, 28, so uh, keep that in mind. Also, whenever I get Black Market down, my Power Leveler, I'll just pop the leave quest, my Power Leveler will go and kill all the enemies that are part of this, I'll just hang out here, and then hand it in when all's done. This is me doing the final two leaves and you can again see the local time at the top right is now 1 45 p.m so we started at 10 12 a.m it's now 1 45 p.m that is how long it took me with doing some hunts in between there was an s rank that spawned a few a ranks that we found we tried out a few different things in all honesty i probably could have had this done in closer to three hours and 10 minutes but it's that was the leveling speed that we worked with here from 1 to 34 to get quelling strikes on my alternate on this alternate character so uh, this is my character over on the Zalera. 
uh, on, over on the Zalera server. And honestly, this was really, really cool to get to see. So if you haven't seen the video, this is giving you a context of how effective it can be. If you have 100 leave quests saved up, if not, you can do the method that I showed you before the leave quests where I was just killing enemies. You can, you can do that pretty reliably until level 30. After that, it's actually going to slow down very significantly. But there you go, level 34, I didn't have to upgrade my gear the entire time, so I'm just full scrub status. Anyway, uh, since I've shown you this, again, if you haven't seen the actual power leveling video, be sure to go check that out. Uh, it is, again, in an annotation, either in the top left or the top right corner of the video. I just wanted to give you a little commentary, share with you the speed at which it actually works, since I kind of spoke pretty vaguely when it came to what we were able to effectively do in the video itself. I'm looking forward to seeing if I can find any other kind of power leveling tricks for battle classes, especially once Deep Dungeon comes out. So if you're somebody who likes to get tips and tricks, Final Fantasy XIV, share this with your friend, use it yourself. This really does go really fast if you have two people. It's not a solo power leveling method. Anyway, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.